we're back here at Eastern Craig Sydney Motorsport Park, of course, with James from Driving Solutions. We're in the Spares Box Driving Solutions Pit Garage, and it's a lovely place to be, I'll tell you that much for free. I mean, good company, good cars, good, good brakes. Hey, exactly right. Speaking of good brakes, it's probably something that's a little bit uh, not, not overly thought about when a lot of people come to the track, I think, or at least amongst beginners. Yeah, I think the big thing is with brakes, everyone wants to add horsepower, yep. but they never think how important the stopping is. That's so right. this is where you need to start from. That's right. If you're going to go make your car you know, faster, quicker, sure, power's good, but if you make it more powerful, you need to be able to stop that power, right? Mate, instructor's best friend, the brakes, I say. Yeah, exactly right. You've hit, the, you've hit the stop pedal a few times with me behind the wheel for some strange reason. I'm not sure why that is. But here we have a couple of different sorts of brakes. Now, the 86 behind us, is it's a bit of fun. You like to take this thing for a rip around the track. It's yeah, just got stock brakes on it. It's stock brakes because we mostly send it sideways, so you don't Perfect. need brakes when you're going sideways. That's exactly right. But also, it's a stock car, so yep. you don't, you're not expecting that much of, of the braking in it. But when you do get up to other things, our Golf R, for example, a couple of you know fast focuses or a more track orientated car, upgrading the brakes is an easy way to get quicker lap times, more uh, consistent braking and pedal feel, all those good things. Yeah, and, and realistically, brakes give you confidence. That's right. And I think that's what's always misconstrued, yep. is brakes are the things that can settle the car before you enter the corner, which yep. just gives you great confidence. Yeah, perfect. Now, we've got a couple of things in front of us here, and they're all pretty crucial. I mean, starting off with, this is just a standard brake pad. We probably don't need to talk much about this. This is the kind of thing that you'd see in the car behind us, or any, any sort of factory run-of-the-mill daily driver. This is gonna get chewed up on the track, isn't it? And, and I think the big thing is even look at the contact patch. So that contact patch, that's all that's stopping it. So when yep. you look at brakes, it's that contact patch to the disc that makes the big difference. That's right. So this isn't really going to do that much for you when you're out on the track. If you get a hot day even, God forbid, you corner one at Sydney Motorsport Park, see you later, if you know what I mean. So we'll put that down here. Now, the brakes we've got in front of us here are, well, Pretty good looking, aren't they? Oh, mate, they're the best pizza trace I've ever seen. This is exactly right, and I'll tell you what, I've eaten food off a couple of these things, and it works okay. Um, now, they're both slotted, they're both fantastic options. The slots are an obvious upgrade for anyone. It's gonna help dissipate the uh, gases created under braking. It's gonna help keep the rotors cooler. It's gonna do all those good things, as well as just looking sick through the wheels. I mean, that's the big thing, isn't it? Well, I guess for some subwoofers, yeah, that's a really important thing when you're you know, cruising down the streets. Yep. But realistically here, the practicality is just massive. Exactly. Right. Anything that can actually get the pads to breathe better and get that air through yep. um, just gives you long jeopardy. Yeah, that's right. So these are the uh, DBA brake rotors. Um, this one here is a T2. They also do a T3 rotor, which is uh, a single piece. It's obviously vented. Being DBA, they've got their patented kangaroo paw vents inside the, brake, uh, inside the rotor itself. Um, and then over here, we've actually got their 4000 series two-piece rotor. Now this is for your hardcore uh, track oriented cars. This one's actually off Leon's Golf. Um, we pulled it off just the other day to uh, basically give it a bit of a braking overhaul. Now there's a couple of differences here. A slotted rotor like that's probably gonna get you out of trouble if you're just getting into track days. You want a bit better ventilation, a bit better stopping, that kind of thing. But what are some of the key benefits of the two-piece rotor that people might want to consider? Look, I guess the whole thing is even the ventilation, but even when you look at it, just the, the, the thickness of it and even just the grooves in it, yep. everything's designed to get that pad back to temperature as quick yep. as you can. So airflow through, a good cool down lap is so crucial with brakes, especially yep. coming into summer. So this is realistically, if you're gonna spend the money, this is where you really want to be looking at to get the best value for money. Yeah, that's exactly right. And the good thing about the DBA two-piece rotors is that the hat itself is totally separate to the ring. It obviously uses these bolts, which means if you do end up cooking the ring, you can just replace that. You can leave the, you don't have to replace the hats. Whereas with these, you do have to replace the whole rotor. It also helps keep it a little bit cooler. If you do want to know what's happening with your brakes, another fantastic thing to check is that little guy you've got there. Oh, you've got to love one of these. Amen. So it gives you the good temperature as well. So the brakes are working at some massive heat. So realistically, getting that heat going out there and checking the pressures is really crucial. Yeah, exactly right. Now, if you don't have that, don't fret. On all the DBAs, they've actually got thermographic paint markings on the edge of the rotor. So it's actually got uh, green, orange, and red, I believe, which tells you uh, it changes color each time the rotor surface actually hits a certain temperature. I think it's 450, 550, and then 600 plus degrees. So you can actually keep a track of exactly what your brakes are doing with that. And now the important thing as well is that you got a couple, a good brake rotor, with one of these. Got to match it. And that's the whole thing. Like your standard brake pads will not work efficiently with these discs. So as you upgrade the disc, making sure you do the pad 
the same way, and also to the weight of the car as well. So yep. really matching the right pad, the right disc with the right car. Yep. It's so crucial, and, and that's where the research and going through the, the, the variety of discs and pads that you've got, don't just sit there and say, oh, our old mate is running this, yep. but he's running a car that's twice the weight of yours. So exactly right. really make sure you're matching the car with the product. Yeah, it's no one size fits all when it comes to brake rotors, pads. It, you really do have to look at the type of driving you're doing, the type of track you're gonna be on, weight of your car, how fast you wanna be going, where you wanna be pushing it, and then choose accordingly. Now, the final piece of the braking puzzle, and it's probably, I reckon this would be the most overlooked thing, is brake fluid. Yeah, I'm a massive fan of brake fluid. Like, realistically, you can't bleed your brakes enough. Like, so flushing yep. it out is a, a, just a must to do whenever yep. you're driving hard. Um, so even, I just think, a quick brake bleed really just gives you that, that comfort. Yep. Because you've got to remember, when you're braking, it's the harder you're braking, it's picking up the moisture in the air, getting yep. into the system. So flushing that out, making sure you've got a nice, good feel pedal, Exactly it's right. crucial. Exactly so right. can never spend enough on brake fluid and exactly. flushing it out as much. Especially a good quality high temp brake fluid because around a track, heck, your brake fluid gets hot. I'll tell you that much. And you don't want to boil your brake fluid because you didn't put the high temp stuff in there. It's just gonna, it's gonna cut your track day short. You've wasted a session or something. It's not what you want. And especially at turn two, the last thing you want is the brake pedal going to the floor. Hey, we've had because it. we, you know, we call for our best friends at that time. Now guys, the best part is all this stuff, if you want to set up your street car or track car a little bit better in the braking department, well, there's one place you can go to get all this good stuff. And that's of course, sparesbox.com.au.